Hey, what's up guys? Tally here with an RU Pokemon Black 2, White 2 Wi-Fi battle against a friend of mine from Skype. Like usual, his channel will be in the description below. Anyways, let's get on with the battle. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my Quill Fish as he starts off with his camera up. And, um, I decided to go with Waterfall just because, um, it's a four times super effective move. Even if he has Solid Rock, I'm pretty sure I could take him out. But... In addition with the Solid Rock, he has a Fasacho Berry, so he's going to be able to survive that with just a little bit of HP, a little bit of, um, I, I do a little bit above half, and uh, he decides to go for Rock Polish, and um, just because I, I didn't really expect that, just because I don't personally use a Rock Polish set on my camera, up and uh, so I, I don't know, just, so right here I'm expecting either Stealth Rock or Earth Power, so I switch out my Charizard so I can go ahead and get him in there, and um, now that I know he can't really do anything to me other than like Lava Plume or I don't know, just any, anything, uh, I'm just going to set up my substitute as he goes for the Stealth Rock. And yeah, now I'm going to go for the Air Slash and take out the Camera Up. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know right now, my Charizard gets a lot of hacks in this game and the only reason I won is because of those hacks. I, it probably could have gone differently, um, really because of his Vanalukes. But, yeah. Anyways, he sends out his Chinchino, and here's one of the hacks right here. I avoid the Rock Blast, which would would which would have been very helpful for him if he would have hit that Rock Blast, because my substitute would be gone. But, uh, anyways, I go for Fire Blast, and I take out his Chinchino. And then next, I think he sends out Slowbro? Yeah, he sends- or, I'm sorry, Slow King. Yeah, he sends out Slow Queen, his Slow King. And, uh, since I'm faster than it, I'm gonna go for Air Slash again. I'm kinda hoping for a flinch, because I know I can't- I know I can't do hit KO it, for sure, but, um, anyway, he's gonna go for the Scald and take out my Substitute. So, right here is another hack that probably is a game changer. I go for a, another Air Slash, and, and I get a critical hit, and it ends up taking out the Slow, slow King. So, so yeah, I, I love using Charizard, and I just thought it was a really fun match, this one, because all the hacks. And, uh, I personally thought it was really funny, just because of this, and that's the only reason I won. But, anyways, he's gonna send out his Hitmonlee next, and to go for the fake out. This, uh, this part right here, actually, this whole Hitmonlee, just, a uh, couple of turns, I, I was really surprised. Like, for one, I survived a normal gem boosted fake out, and for two, I outsped a, his Hitmonlee. Like, usually, usually Hitmonlees that I see have the unburdened ability, and with that, I figured that he would have outsped my Charizard, but I don't know. I guess Charizard just outsped him, or maybe it was a speed type, but I didn't really check because it wasn't really that important to me. But um, anyways, Charizard takes out four Pokemon and finally dies to the Life Orb. And yeah, now I'm just going to send out Cacturn because I haven't really used Cacturn in any of my videos, and I kind of felt like showing it some love. But he had to send out Archeop, so I have to switch out to my Bastiodon to uh, either take the U-Turn or Acrobatics. And, um, so yeah, Bastiodon's gonna take that really well, even though it was a critical hit. And I think he goes out to his Vanalukes right now. Like, my, uh, my Bastiodon isn't very special defensive. I mean, it still has natural, good special defense, but, um, I, I think I have a, I think I have an impish nature, so he's better for, uh, he's better for just physical defense. But anyways, he's gonna predict either my Stealth Rocks or just any kind of non-attacking move and go right for the Taunt. Which is a very good play on his part. I actually did go for Stealth Rock so I could limit that Archeops' um, just survivability. But um, anyways, now I'm just going to go right for the Stone Edge because that's my only attacking move. I don't know why he switched out. Maybe he thought I had a Ground-type move instead, but honestly, this is, Stone Edge is probably the best move you could have. And so, I do knock him halfway, and so his Archeops is in his Defeatist ability. So that's perfect, since now I don't really have to worry about this Archeops at all anymore. So he's going to go for a Flying Gem Boosted Acrobatics. It's not going to do a thing to my Bastiodon. And I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge. I do miss it my first try, but um, I hit it my second, and so he's going to die. Um, so okay, so I'm going to, he's going to use Dragon Claw, and still not going to do a thing to my Bastiodon. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same health I was at earlier, just because of the leftovers. But um... Yeah, so his Archeops is down, and so I am up, I think, 5 to 1. So the battle is looking really good in my favor. Like, it's looking great, like, I mean, I'm almost certain I'm going to win. Um, but he has his Vanalukes, and I didn't realize how powerful Vanalukes are. 
like a choice specs Banna Lukes does a lot of damage in Ryu to like any Pokemon. I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing that much damage to my Bastiodon, but it's doing it's doing quite a bit like to all my other Pokemon. Anyways, he's gonna or I'm gonna use Stone Edge, and it's almost gonna take him out. It's super effective, and I get a crit. It's almost gonna take him out, but it doesn't quite do it. And his weak armor does now activate. It, that's kind of important to him because I'm pretty sure I could outspeed him with my other Pokemon. But with that defense drop and the speed up. Um, I, I can't really outspeed him with some of my Pokemon. I think, I, I, I think my uh, my Buffalant would outspeed him. But I'm not sure. Anyways, I, I just thought it'd be funny and use Toxic just to kill him off with that. But I end up missing my first one, and so I'm just like, okay, that's okay. I can take another Ice Beam, and so I go for Toxic again, but again I miss it. So I, <laughs> I miss my Toxic, and I'm just like, no, I I, I want to keep it like a really big lead so it looks like I won by a lot. And so I switch out to my Quillfish, because I, I, I was thinking my Quillfish could take a uh, Ice Beam really well. But, um, I forgot Quillfishes aren't really special defenses, and so I don't take it well at all. And so it does, uh, it does over half, I definitely can't survive another one. So, I'm just thinking right now, you know, I just gotta stack one Pokemon, and if anything, Quillfish really isn't gonna do anything in this battle anymore, and so I'm just gonna leave Quillfish in to die. So Quillfish is going to stay in and it's going to die, and next I'm going to send out my Buffalant. Uh, I'm not, when I sent out my Buffalant, I wasn't exactly sure if I could survive an Ice Beam. I was praying to God I would survive one, but I wasn't entirely too sure. But um, anyways, I'm gonna, he's going to go for another Ice Beam as I go for an Earthquake. Thankfully, I survive it with 84 HP. Um, I mean, look at that, the Vandal Lukes did a lot. Like, it did over it did over 200 damage, but anyway, that's the battle. Um, that was a great battle. You should definitely check out his channel. Um, his name's Shankly, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Shankly, and yeah, he, he uploads Pokemon videos, and he's pretty good. So anyways, thanks for watching, and this is Tyler, and I'll talk to you guys later.